Attention football fans, today we are going to talk about the clash of the queens. I'm talking about the Ghana Black Queens against the Copper Queens of Zambia. Welcome everybody, my name is Selassie and I'm just a guy who loves women's football because I believe that the world would be a better place with the success of women's football. Today we are going to have a little discussion about the round three of the Olympic game qualifiers between the Black Queens of Ghana and also the Copper Queens of Zambia. Let's begin with the qualification part for both teams. For the Copper Queens of Zambia, they received a waiver from the first round because of their participation in the 2022 women have gone and of course they went to the semi-finals so they received that waiver so they didn't play in the first round of qualifiers however in the second round they were paired up against Mali unfortunately they also received a walkover due to certain issues in the Malian camp preventing them from not being able to play in the qualifiers so basically they played no games in the first rounds and the second rounds respectively for the black queens they had to play from the first round in the first round they were paired up against guinea and over two legs they accumulated an aggregate of seven goals to nil being it three goals to nil in the first leg and four goals to nil in the second leg and making them go into the second round however in the second round they were paired up against their fellow west african benin of which they went over to defeat Benin three goals to nil in the first leg, came back home to Accra to finish the job with a two goal, making them qualify to the third round on a five nil aggregate. Now take note, in the Paris 2024, there are only going to be two African countries that are going to represent Africa in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games later this year. In total, we are going to have 12 teams across the world who will be competing for the gold, silver and bronze medal in later this year. In the African zone, currently there are 8 teams who are fighting for those 2 positions. We will talk about the rest of the games in the later part of this video so make sure you stay tuned and do not miss a bite. Now, let's just go into the squad announcement shall we. The Zambian Copper Queens released their professional squad last week. However, at the time of recording this video, they released their final 23 member squad. There are certain players in there that of course we would have to take a look at. The world most expensive women's footballer, Rachel Kondonaji. She is a striker and used to play for Madrid CCF and currently was transferred on a world record fee to Bay FC in the USA. So not forgetting their captain Papa Banda, who is a very clinical and a fast-paced striker that will be willing and ready to tear down the defense of the Black Queens. But however, can Banda captain her team to the next round of the qualifiers with the hope of also qualifying to the Olympics? Well, we can only find out. Now, let's check out the squad for the Black Queens. Coach Nora Hoopla has released her 23-member squad. At the time of recording this video as well, most of the players have arrived at camp. However, there are certain key players that are missing in the squad. Players like Alice Kusi, Chris Ladubia, their number one shot stopper, Cynthia Colan, who are out due to injury. But there are new crop of players that have been brought into the squad. Players like Mepi Anyame, who has been promoted from the under 20 women's team to the senior side. Not forgetting the Black Queens key players like Doris Wedua, Grace Asantua, Jennifer Kujo, their captain Portia Boache, among others. But in the list, there is one name that actually stands out more, which has headlined every story. The Charlton Athletic midfielder Frida Aisi. In terms of their head-to-head -head stats, Ghana and Zambia has met five times, and Zambia has won three out of the five, and Ghana has won two. So, which means that this game is actually going to be a very tight game and will be defined by very fine margins. Also, let's not forget that Zambia are also carrying on a very fine form after their tremendous display in the 2023 Women's World Cup. Zambia will be looking forward to make amends in their last time that they went for the Olympics 
in 2020. The Black Queens, on the other hand, are also fighting for their first ever appearance in the Olympic Games. And Zambia is the team currently standing in their way. Will they be able to do the undoable to beat this team to qualify for the fourth round with the hope of making it to Paris 2024? Well, time can only tell. Now on to some fun stuff. So as we speak, most of the players in both camps have arrived. The Zambia themselves have also arrived in their camp over the weekend and they started training with the hope of arriving into Ghana probably in a moment from now as you are watching this video. By the way, if you have made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to others and let me know who you think is going to win this clash in the comment section. The other teams who are competing for the ticket to Paris include Cameroon are going against Nigeria. Also, we have South Africa playing against Tanzania and Morocco have been paired against Tunisia. You can send up your predictions in the comment section. So if you are in Ghana, I would like to urge you that on Friday at 5 p.m at the Accra Sports Stadium, you've got to be there to support the Black Queens to victory. The entry is free. So bro, sister, you can't make any excuse not to be there. Friday, 5 p.m. Accra Sports Stadium, be in your Ghana colors like I am, and let's cheer the Black Queens to victory. If you are in Zambia, don't worry. Monday, if you really want to save money, get the tickets now. If you get the tickets now, you are going to get it for 20 kwacha. So please, Napapata, don't miss this chance, okay? Because if you miss this chance, next week, the tickets are going to rise up to 30 kwacha to 50 kwacha. But if you're a big man like me, and you want to chill with the big boys, VIP tickets just goes for 100 kwacha. You can get it countrywide via shop right via the compute ticket so so you anyway, hurry up and get your tickets so folks that's all i have for you now i hope to see you on friday and of course share this video don't forget to subscribe and until i see you in the next video i'm Selassie and i'm just a guy who loves women's football okay guys we're back did you miss us because we missed you